It's time to wonder in the whimsical workings of the conjurers. Our favorite time is Christmas. For generations and generations, my family have created Christmas crackers. In fact, it's become a tradition of ours to make these every Christmas Eve, but rather than putting funny little jokes inside, we put special messages onto a big piece of paper, roll it into a scroll, and make the cracker around it. It's nearly Christmas. Let's try and do something magical for everybody in attendance and everybody watching at home. Three questions beginning with you, if you don't mind. Imagine that it's Christmas Day. It's going to be your dream location. It could be anywhere. It could be a city, a state, a village, a town, a country. Now, nice and loud, where do you choose? The Bahamas. Bahamas. Ooh. Very good. It's a very good <laughs> choice. Lovely. Bahamas is great. OK, let's do another one. Oh, let's go for food. Ooh. I'll ask this gentleman in the lovely hat there, rather than your traditional Christmas dinner, you can have anything from, I don't know, a chili con carne to a Victoria sponge cake. What would you choose? Sushi. Sushi. All right. Okay, sushi on Christmas. Mm. Good. So we're going to the Bahamas. We've got sushi. Love it. One more thing, if you don't mind. A present is needed. So money's no object. It could be indoors, outdoors, your wildest desire. What present would you choose? Make it completely random. I want a car. A car? Now, tell me something specific about the car. The car is covered in photos of my face. <laughs> <laughs> So the car is covered in photos of your face? Yeah, my face is on the car. Yes. <laughs> As you can see, this Christmas cracker has been locked inside of that glass box. And I think it's time to bring the cracker down. So think about this. Before we arrived, before any of you met us, before Tash began to speak, before we said a word, there was one cracker, one item locked and sealed inside a glass box. How impossible would it be if somehow, some way, we could have predicted not only what you would say, but lock it, store it, place it, keep it inside a cracker way ahead of time. It really is locked inside this box. Matthew, you can be my very glamorous assistant. Honestly, I thought you'd never ask. It's quite a privilege. Thank you, Nash. <laughs> OK, let's get out the cracker and see what's inside. Lovely. Again, locked up there since before we began talking. Merry Christmas, Matthew. Just one thing. Only one. Think how impossible it would be if somehow, some way, we predicted, influenced, and knew exactly what you would say ahead of time. Let's give this a go. Thing number one. Anywhere in the world. But you had to choose the Bahamas. Not bad. Thank you. Not bad. Thing number two should be. Rather than a traditional Christmas dinner, you will choose sushi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But three out of three is the moment, right? We have Bahamas, we have sushi, so to finish it off, we need a car with your face on it. Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much for having us, Maddie Bomber and Ashland, the Conjurers, and a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas!